guys welcome back to another video um this video is more laid back chill work office day i didn't even have to go over to the hospital because i didn't have any patients so i did a lot of follow-up a lot of phone calls a lot of scheduling of psychiatry appointments counseling appointments and a primary care appointments for some of the patients that i've been working with over the last few weeks and just making sure all of that's done and scheduled and that i make sure that they are aware that I went ahead and scheduled it for them as they requested and yeah that's just pretty much it I do a lot of this throughout the day so this is a really short video straight to the point that today was just a follow-up day because a lot of our patients didn't end up coming to their appointment and we didn't have a lot of patients on the schedule because we were just so low staff so we ended up just moving some appointments around and bridging patients as needed Hi, my name is Ajane. I spoke with you last week. I would usually sign my emails like this, just making sure that the patient is aware that if they have any questions or issues or questions that they can always email me. It leaves the door open for future opportunities to collaborate together and for me to assist them. Hey guys, just wanted to take a second to check in with you. I was really nervous about coming in today because I haven't been here since technically Wednesday. I worked from home on Thursday. That was like the day before Christmas Eve. And so I haven't been here Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, the weekend. We was had off Monday. I took off. Well, I was already off Tuesday, but I didn't come in. I was gonna work some, but I decided not to because if you watched my last video, I said I was burnt out. I definitely feel a lot better <laughs> taking that extra day and I'm gonna take tomorrow off as well. So I'm just prioritizing my mental health and like my passion and the work that I do with these patients and my coworkers and just taking the time to just feed into what I need with the people that I love and care about and make sure that I'm being the best social worker that I can be. And um, yeah, um, I thought that I might have deliveries or several deliveries, but I have no patients in the hospital. We do have patients over there, some babies um, and a mom, but they're not technically my patients, they're my coworkers. So I'm really happy. And then because of the holidays, we suspect that a lot of patients don't come and we're down two nurses were down our, our doctors over at the hospital covering um one of the nurse practitioners is out so we don't really have a lot of staff here as well so it's just one of those weird crazy days where like it's two social workers and two receptionists and we outnumber everybody else <laughs> which is not typically you know the usual so Today has been fine. It's been a lot of following up with other patients at the other clinics, making sure that I am able to schedule those appointments because when the new year starts, people start new year resolutions and they want to get off the drugs and, you know, come to their appointments. So, but I know we're going to be busy when we get back from this like new year's break. So I just wanted to make sure that I'm following up with the, these patients this week because I have a little bit more downtime. So yeah, I'll check the game with you guys later. I have a little fun, guys. I'm so excited for it to be 2022 because I just feel like there's so many opportunities for me to take advantage of this year, um, possibly moving different states. And obviously with that comes new jobs and new opportunities, new ways for me to share and educate the social work community to learn and increase my skills and knowledge. And so I'm just super excited and I hope that you guys are too. Thanks for watching.